Hi, Trevor here, reflecting on live stream music. Thank you for stopping by. Well, come in again, you're very, very welcome. I trust you enjoyed my last video on Barbie and the Nutcracker. It's, it's, it's amazing where this video channel goes sometimes. And we looked at just that iconic character created by Mattel all the way back in 1959. And, and just the, the beautifully shot Barbie and the Nutcracker. So I trust you found that one encouraging. We're going from there to 2004 in Perth. It's a bit of a, bit of a collaboration between two bands during the circuit that, at that time. Tragic Delicate and Carnival. In fact, it was Adam Spark on guitar who said, hey, I've got this bit of, de bit of a demo. I need someone to sing it. So he got Ian Kenny to sing it. And they thought, hey, this is, demo's gone really, really well. What else can we do? And so Birds of Tokyo was formed. <laughs> Birds of Tokyo released um, an album in 2005. Well, actually, it was an EP. They soon got signed to EMI Records and uh, I'm Thank goodness that they did that because they've had some wonderful songs since that time. And uh, they released 2000 and, uh, in 2006 the album Day One. Very, very successful in the scheme of things, this album. And they embarked on some pretty incredible uh, nationwide tours, including the iconic Big Day Out, which is a, a bit of a, a, a day when all these, all these bands and block just go from one city to another. In fact, uh, I can remember being on the plane of, of, of this particular movement and I was sitting behind Taylor Hawkins and Dave Grohl of Foo Fighters before they were big. And it was just amazing to see that, you know, even those guys there have had an opportunity to be part of Big Day Out. This is how iconic this particular um, day of rock absolutely is. Now, uh, there are a few songs we can look at when we look at Birds of Tokyo. Let's do a little bit of a chronological order here. We've got Wild of Heart, came out in 20, 2010, uh, of the album Birds of Tokyo. We've got the official clip on that one. Um, but probably the song I wanted to focus on really is um, Lanterns. Um, this came off the 2013 album March Fires. Now, Lanterns, uh, from my reading of it, looking at the official clip, uh, which is pretty compelling about just people going through life, and also the official uh, a live version from the 2021 AFL Grand Final, doesn't get much bigger than that. If you get asked to be in the AFL Grand Final, Australian Football League, which is kind of the iconic uh, game in Australia, the AFL Grand Final, a massive deal over here in, at the MCG in Melbourne. To be asked to be at the halftime show of that, shows that you've made it. What makes this even better is they choose to have a, a night grand final for a change and the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra are, are there as well. So pretty, pretty amazing clip of Lanterns. Now Lanterns is all about shining your light, letting your light shine as you move through life. And we think, well, I haven't got much of a light to shine really. You know, my life's a bit dull. I don't do that much. In fact, I'm just trying to, I'm making it up like the rest of us. But what Lanterns is encouraging us to do is to look a little bit deeper than that and say, hey, I do have a light to shine. I am a person of worth. I am a person of value. Um, in fact, if I don't shine my light, the world kind of misses out a little bit. Um, wh wh why do we get to this, uh, this feeling of thinking that we're not worth anything and that we're not really that valuable? How do we get to that thinking? Well, Maybe life hasn't gone that well for you and you've left it being a bit battered and even gasping for breath a little bit. You're thinking, well, hey, nah, life's done with me. Um, that's kind of it. Life, life can be like that. It can be a bit of a challenge and we think, oh, God, how did I even get to this place? There's only darkness really in my life right now. I, I try to go to bed each night. I can't get to sleep because I'm thinking about all this stuff. How can I often, often be a lantern? Well, another thing about a lantern, if you think about, um, you know, someone standing on a cliff face, face with a lantern or someone holding a lantern on the pathway, guiding your way, it could be that the lantern isn't within. In fact, the lantern within is really, really dim and almost out. And so you've got to look for a guidepost, a guiding light to help you. It could be that uh, that person just comes out of the blue and, and gives you some wise words and thinks, hey, oh, that was pretty cool. What am I going to do about that? Those words are pretty, pretty amazing. There's a lantern that I can follow, even if it's just for a short space of time. And you know, by following that lantern, of course, we're talking philosophically here, right? 
your lantern might just get that little bit brighter. Can we dare to believe, guys? Can we dare to believe that we can smile again? Can we dare to believe that we are a people of worth and people of value? Can we believe almost that love perhaps not has not finished with us yet if you've been through pretty horrible times or your, your interactions with love have not been the best? Because it's not love that has failed, it's relationships that fail. Love is patient and kind always. It's just as human, us as human beings are capable of this always patient and kind thing. <laughs> so can we dare to smile again? Can we dare to, to get our lantern out from under the bush where you're hiding it and let it shine for the world to see? It's incredible how hard it is to do that and how hard it is to actually bring it out. But you know what? Um, it is possible. One movement I found really, really helpful for me, um, and this is a worldwide movement, is the meetup movement. It's a bit of a platform where people just get together and they will actually just talk to each other. Meetup is not what you think it is. It's not like a it's not like a go get the girl, get the guy kind of thing. In fact, people are like like that are caught out often and ostracized almost. It's a very safe environment just to be yourself. And so, you know, if you are looking for an outlet or a new social outlet, just do a bit of a meetup look, a bit of a meetup in your own area and see what's happening. There tends to be quite a few events on and it's quite a good way of, of letting your light shine in a safe way because we want to get our light out there it's got to be safe right we've got to be doing a way that's going to be safe and it's going to work and um and we need opportunities to be able to do that one so just look for groups around you that you can be part of so lanterns live and official on that one um then out came in uh, 2020 the album Human Design and, and off that album we've got Two of Us which is just basically a song about couple relationship and just going through life together and you've got I've got your name on my heart such a beautiful way of actually looking at relationships that it's actually on our hearts our hearts is where our feelings our emotions and who we are reside so if you're letting someone into there you know, you know that they're important in your life. So two of us, pretty amazing clip, that one. We've also got Unbreakable. This is a live, from, again, from the 2021 Grand Final. And um, this uh, and this is just talking about if we can actually work together and be together. They talk about the bushfires uh, here when they talk about it's been a pretty trying time for the last little while. They're talking about the horrible bushfires of 19... 19, 2020, 20, 2019 and 2020, I should say. So it's amazing what we can do when we get together, and particularly in those small, remote country towns, often where bushfires happen, it's when people get together that they get through it. So we've got a live version of that one. So between 2007 and currently, well, there's actually, actually 2005, um, I should say, because we've had some EPs as well, um, six studio albums, one live album, one compilation album, one video album, three EPs and 31 singles. These guys really, really know how to write songs. They really know how to write songs that uplift you and make you feel positive about the world. And this is why Australia has resonated so well with them. In fact, um, Human Design uh, topped, topped the charts on its release. This is how anticipated any release from these guys absolutely is because they know how to write lyrics that resonate with our hearts and that's the best sort of songwriting ever. Now Birds of Tokyo have won one Australian Independent Recording Award, six APRA Awards, Australian Performing Rights Association and one ARIA Award and they actually have won 14 West Australian Music Awards, their home state, which you would expect. So the links to those, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven clips, well, seven are in the description below. And I've also included my last video on Barbie and the Nutcracker, so if you want to recap on her, feel free. Well, if you come back for another one, I was just this first time to Life Reflections through music. Thanks to everyone for being here. I'm coming back for the, uh, or coming for the first time. That's it for today. Now, there has been a significant death in Australia in the last little while, and that's Barry Humphreys, of course. He was behind Sir Les Patterson, and said, 
Sir Dane Edna Everidge. So I'm going to give him a bit of a go next time. So until then, I'll catch you around.